college basketball, so let's bring in star handicapper himself, the man no longer with the Stooges, Higgy, Higgy Pop himself, John Higgs. <laughs> Just a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. We're going to start in the Big 12 with Oklahoma at Baylor. Oklahoma soon as 12-5, and 6-10-1 and one against the spread. They're third in the Big 12, by the way, 6-4 and four in the last 10. Win over TCU, slapped a two-game losing streak. They're 2-2 two and two straight up, 1-3 and three against the spread away from home. 3-2 and two in conference play. They've gone under and four of the last five total-wise. And the Baylor Bears, 15-1. and one. What a record that is. 11-5 and five against the spread. They're first in the Big 12. They're 10-0, and 0, coming off a 75-68 win over Oklahoma State. 8-0 straight up. 4-4 four four against the spread at home. 5-0. and 0, Perfect in conference. And sometimes you look, uh, Higgy, at these records, and, you know, it could be 15-1, and one, but they play some real easy, soft, you know, out-of-conference teams. But they are 5-0 and oh in the Big 12, which is not that easy of a conference to play in. Um, and they are 5-0 and oh against the spread in the last five games and under in the last five. Big home favorites at 10 points, total 136 and a half. You've got to like Baylor for this one, though, Higgy. You know, you mentioned... Uh they're scheduled there in a record and we've said it before like sometimes you guys come in here it's like oh they're 15 and 1 or 12 and 0 whatever case these guys have been in texas tech arizona butler kansas uh no letdown in sight you know they beat arizona and butler then you figure all right maybe they have a little hiccup slow down I mean, okay it's tennessee martin they still win by almost 30 points they beat kansas and uh, Texas Tech on the road, they come home, still take care of business, win them by 13. These guys look pretty good. Defense is solid, 58 points a game. 10, you know, it's actually, I saw 11 when this first popped open, dropped down to 10. I don't know. I'm going to actually lean a little bit towards the over here, believe it or not, yeah. even though it's a defensive team. I see the 136. I think this can play into the 140-ish range. The 10's a little tricky. I like Baylor, but I don't know. I, I They haven't really, not that they haven't been tested, but, you know, Oklahoma's going to maybe come in, shoot the ball. They got nothing to lose playing with the house money. They're double digits. Maybe I lean towards the dog, but more importantly, I'm going to look at the over here in this game. I see this playing out like the 145 range, believe it or not. I think it's going to be like an 80 to like a 70 type game, somewhere in there, 76, 70. A little more high scoring than well, even look, though we I mean, got a team was, gives it was up 58, 75, 68. 68 against Oklahoma State, which is you know, nowhere near as good as the Sooners. Um, yeah. So I, I, I think that's a great analysis, Higgy. I, I still like Baylor to win this game, uh, but I think this, yeah, this, to this total is a little low. These are two really good basketball teams in an excellent basketball conference. Uh, duking it out. Um, so I, I'm with they you. Both, What's that? Yeah, they both get are pretty good. Like, you know, shooting around 44% or whatever from the field. And defenses are, they always, yeah, 58 points a game is, you know, really good, no matter what team's putting up that. Either you're just playing at a snail's pace and nobody's moving the ball on you, or you're just playing that good defense. But you're putting up, you know, 77 points a game, 73 points a game, and giving up 58. That shows me uh, you're pretty good on both sides of the ball. But again, I think this going to be a push em kind of game here, up and down the court. So over is going to be the play here for the show. 